came back to Stanford two weeks earlier before the term began to do an international criminal justice course with Professor Martinez and Professor Van Schack. So we met here for a week, just 12 of us, did a really intense like three or four hours a day of class to really get all the basics of how international criminal justice works or doesn't work, depending on the context. And then we all flew to the Netherlands. We went to The Hague and met with the most amazing collection of people. We met with the head of the International Criminal Tribunal for Yugoslavia. We met with the International Criminal Court. Because professors Martinez and Van Schack know everybody in this field, they could just pick up the phone and say, hey, I've got these students. Do you want to meet with them and tell them a little bit about your work? I think one that comes to the top of my head is um, the moot court competition. Uh, we took a case um, about litigation between NCAA and Electronic Arts, um, well, NCAA football player and Electronic Arts, and we just wrote a brief, a brief about it, which which was lasted for the entire fall quarter, and then we did oral arguments uh, this quarter. And I just thought that was a really good experience because it, it puts you into the mindset of a Supreme Court litigator, which is something that, one, you don't really, like, you can't anticipate whether that's actually gonna happen in practice, and two, it's something that you don't imagine when you're coming to law school, like, I will be able to, meet like Justice Kagan and watch how oral argument works in real life and just be a part of it and it just was something that I think was an intangible experience and I just loved it so much. Project Freedom attracts me for a number of reasons. First being the cross-pollination of students that apply and contribute to it. it perfectly represents Stanford's policy of interdisciplinary study. You have students from the business school, law school, as well as a mentor from the local Palo Alto um, space who is an entrepreneur, either it ranges from business to law, and so it has been a great experience to meet new people and also see my vision of hope, hopefully cross-pollinating law and business. The one that's excited me the most has been the opportunity to work um, on a case uh, under the auspices of the Iraqi Refugee Assistance Pro uh, Program. Uh, and in that uh, role, uh, myself along with two uh, fellow team members have actually uh, taken on representation uh, of an Iraqi woman um, who is seeking a, a special immigrant visa uh, on the basis of her uh, work as a contractor for the U.S. government um, about a decade ago. Um, and that's uh, just been absolutely remarkable. So I'm involved in the brand new Journal of Criminal Law and Policy, um, and I'm on the symposium committee, and so we're planning a symposium for the spring on uh, secrecy in the criminal justice system. And so to be able to, to really take the lead on that project, um, as a 1L, I've actually been put totally in charge of a panel on uh, body cameras and sort of the implications for privacy and, and transparency um, in terms of this proposed reform. And it's been amazing to you know be able to get in touch with real leaders on this issue around the country um, and you know bring them to to this campus to talk to us about such a again such a timely um, and interesting topic. I had the opportunity to work with one of the best deal litigators probably in the world. Uh, she flew out from a law firm in New York every week to teach us. It was a very small seminar and we got to basically write briefs um, on like a deal case um, and argue it all within like several weeks. It was very accelerated but it was it felt very real um, timeline wise and I felt like I wouldn't have gotten that experience. Um, really in many other places, and that I had all these great resources, including this professor, um, because I was at Stanford. 